Hi guys, welcome to AWS DBA. In this session, we are going to see how we can modify our Amazon RDS DBA instance. You can change the settings of your DBA instance to accomplish tasks such as adding additional storage or changing the DBA instance class. In this topic, we can find out how to modify an Amazon RDS DB instance and learn about the settings for the DB instance. We recommend that you test any changes on your test instance before modifying your production instance so that you fully understand the impact of each change. Testing is especially important when upgrading in database version most modifications to your db instance you can either apply immediately or defer until the next maintenance window some modifications such as parameter group changes require that you manually reboot your db instance for the change to take effect some modifications result in down because amazon rds must reboot your db instance for the change to take effect Review the impact to your database and applications before modifying your DB instance settings. If you are choosing EC Create while creating a DB instance, some default configuration enabled by EC Create. So we need to modify that configuration if it is not required. Storage auto scaling is enabled by EC Create. We need to disable that one. Default security group chosen by EC Create. We need to modify custom security group. Public access is not enabled by EC Create. We need to enable the public access. Default DP parameter group chosen by EC Create. We need to assign custom parameter group for this DP instance. Auto backup retention period is enabled by EC Create. If you don't want, then we can disable the backup retention period. Enhanced monitoring is enabled by EC Create. If you don't want, we can disable the enhanced monitoring. To modify a DB instance in the navigation pan, choose databases and then choose DB instance that you want to modify. Then choose modify. The modify DB instance page, change any of the settings that you want. The storage section, we need to disable the storage under spelling. The connection section, we need to Assign the custom uh, security group. In the additional configuration, we need to choose the publicly accessible. The additional configuration section, we need to choose custom parameter group. For backup retention period, if we don't want, then we can disable the backup retention period using zero days. For monitoring, we can disable the enhanced monitoring. If you want, you can enable the performance insight, then scroll down, choose continue. In the summary of modification, you can validate the current and new value. Scheduling of modification section, choose apply immediately, then choose modify DP instance. Now the DP instance status is in modifying state. It will take some time to available status. Now, DP instance status is available state. For maintaining your Amazon RDS DP instance, you can refer next video in my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and refer to your friends.